We just got back from Trader Joe. I got some tulips for Jennifer. She is the best, you guys, and look how freaking pretty these are. I had never gotten my flowers from Trader Joe's before, but the selection in there is so beautiful. There's so many different types of flowers in there. I thought tulips were like the best. I feel like roses are kind of like boyfriend, girlfriend vibes. Tulips are cute. Tulips are like from girl to girl. She is about to go on maternity leave, which is actually why I'm getting my lips done because I'm like, girl, please. Please, I need to see you. Let me put the AC on. And I told her, I said, I'm not going to anybody else. I'm not gonna cheat on you, but please let me get in before you go on maternity leave. I don't know if I necessarily need a touch up. Every time I go, she tells me no. I tell myself yes. The more lip filler, the better. Only coming from Jennifer though, because she really is such like a natural injector. She doesn't do too much. Every time I tell people that I have lip filler, they're like, no way. Like I literally can't tell. And I'm like, it's because Jennifer's the best. The way she does it is perfect. And she is not scared to tell you no. I feel like a lot of injectors in general will not tell you no because they want to make money. Jennifer, she really cares about like facial balancing and all that good stuff. Obviously I have makeup on right now because I had to film some stuff earlier, but we're going to remove that. I'm going to grab some quick food before we go. I always like to eat before I get injected just because I don't want to pass out. I'm not really prone to passing out. The pain Girl, I'm so used to the pain at this point. It's really not that bad. Actually, as a lie, the top lip and like the cupid's bow is pretty intense, but it's such like a quick amount of pain for beautiful lips, especially from Jennifer. Every time I go to her, she tells me that new girls have came to her. She said that girls have literally flown from other states to go to her because of me. So that makes me so happy and so excited because honestly, her results speak for themselves. And if you ever try to pull up a picture of me pre-lip filler, it's not me. It's not me. I, I feel like lip filler and my boobs were probably the two best decisions that I've made. I've also got Botox done by Jennifer, which I love. I just haven't done it in so long because I feel like I was getting addicted to it and I felt like I needed it even though I know I didn't need it. Does that make sense? And then she has also done my mid face. We haven't done that in a long time, probably like a year and a half. And she did my chin at one point. Um, I think twice actually she filled my chin, but I just don't like the recovery process of it. It really messes like with my head mentally. The recovery process is like pretty intense and your chin gets really big and swollen and I, I just can't deal with it. I'm like, you know what? I have my little butt chin. That's okay. Some food and give Jennifer these flowers. Sweetest person and she deserves all the clients coming to her and I am excited for her and this new journey in her life. Jennifer always starts with the Cupid's bow. This part does hurt the worst. There is a very strong like topical numbing that she puts on and you really can't feel your lips, but at the end of the day, it is a needle going into your skin. So you definitely can feel it. Cupid's bow is the worst. Ask your injector if they can start there, <laughs> if that's even possible. The bottom lip, you cannot feel it at all. And as you guys will see in a second, she actually goes into like almost the middle of my bottom lip. I feel like the cupid's bow hurts the worst because she's really going around the perimeter of my lip. And if you guys have ever had like a little pimple in that area, like on your lip line and you try to pop it, you know how painful it feels. That's what getting lip filler feels like, at least on the cupid's bow. It's really, really not that bad. I highly recommend that you guys get it. If you're scared of getting it because of the pain, don't be. You will be completely fine. Honestly, it's just like a little sting for a second. And as soon as the needle gets pulled out, it doesn't even hurt anymore. It's so worth it. Also, Jennifer has like the most gentle hand. I can literally vlog and keep my eyes open while she's injecting me, which is insane. Lips are done. Me and Jennifer can talk forever. She is so sweet. I have been blessed with the best injectors and surge honestly it's because i found them <laughs> i think it is so important for you guys did you guys see that fuzzy it is so important for you guys to find some that you mesh well with and that really understands like your goals jennifer has been doing my lips since like six months into me living in la she has literally seen me grow this is actually the first time that she's seen me with my new hair and she loved it also with my new boobs so she works in the industry she knows surgeons and stuff like that and i have been talking to jennifer about wanting to get my boobs done forever she's just an injector but she's in the space so she knows right and in the beginning when i'd get my lips done she'd actually give me breast implants to hold as like stress balls to kind of get my mind off of what's happening then we just started getting more into the conversation and she told me she actually got hers done when she got hers done a while back and it was like the best decision she ever made and her boobs look great i love when a woman gets a breast augmentation and you can't tell if they are natural or if she's had surgery there's nothing wrong with either one but hers just looks so good it was just so cool coming back and having my boobs done because I've been talking about it with her for so long. She was so happy for me. She is going on maternity leave soon in May. And I love Geminis. <laughs> I love Geminis and I also love Aries. A lot of people around me are in Aries. 
Jennifer's an Aries. Nick is an Aries. My best friend, Robbie is an Aries. My mom is an Aries. Like I just have so many Aries surrounding me all the time. I just love the energy. Um, also I wanted to mention that I'm a little bit more bruised than normal. And Jennifer actually noticed that. Can you guys see? Look how good they look. Oh, they look so good. A little bit more bruised and bleeding than normal. She's like, you're bleeding. Like you normally don't bleed. And it's true. I usually don't bleed or really bruise. And I feel like I knew what it was. It was fish oil. You guys, I'm taking fish oil from Dr. Barrett. He recommended that I take fish oil to, for, to help with recovery. Taking fish oil helps reduce the risk of capsular, caps, capsular? contracture by like a crazy amount so i've been taking four fish oil pills a day apparently fish oil literally thins your blood and that's why i'm bleeding so much it didn't hurt more than normal but she just said there was bleeding and there's definitely probably going to be some bruising on my upper lip as you guys can see that stuff doesn't bother me because i have lip injections and that comes with the recovery process and it doesn't really bother me like i'm not trying to hide the fact i'm literally making videos for you guys about my lips so other than that pain this time was actually very very minimal this is probably the least pain that i felt anytime that i got my lips done the part that hurts the worst is your cupid's bow right here oh it's so sensitive if you guys have ever had a like pimple along your lip line and you've tried to pop it you know how painful it is that's how it feels when you get your cupid's bow done the bottom lip you cannot feel at all I, she does it just so seamlessly and fast and the technique she does 10 out of 10 also the numbing is so extremely strong you can still feel it like it's a needle going into your skin you know what i mean but it's not bad i recommend if you guys are wanting to get your lips done first of all like I mentioned for my breast augmentation surgery, go to somebody who is experienced and somebody who will tell you no. Jennifer will tell you no. One thing that I love about her, but sometimes I'm just like, put more. She has my best interest at heart and my lips look so bomb. I have no migration and I've been having filler, like I said, for two years and my lips still look so good. I, I get compliments on them all the time. I highly recommend Jennifer. She is located here in Glendale, California. She is the best, 10 out of 10 highly recommend her she is so sweet and gentle and if you guys are looking to get your lips done i would travel to her I, I would genuinely if i moved to another state or city i would travel back here just to get my lips done by her i'm not sure if this is going to be the end of the video or not i hope this was informational to you guys um oh also after you get your lips done you don't want to be drinking out of straws don't eat anything spicy don't do your makeup um, you want to keep right now there's aquaphor on my lips. I just keep reapplying aquaphor and I don't wear makeup on my lips for the first like three days. You can, I think, but it's just like you have open wounds. You don't really want to be putting makeup in there. I don't necessarily have anything I have to wear makeup for. So that's good. If I do, I'm just going to keep it off around this area right here. That we're feeling good. She also asked if there's anything else I wanted to do. And I was like, no, I don't think so. I do love a good Botox, but I just don't want to get addicted to it. And I know I will. I have that type of personality. Also, this is something that I wanted to mention. I asked her about Sculptra. You guys, she does Sculptra in the butt and for like your hip dips and whatever you need to correct. And I asked her if that was like an op a good option for me. Obviously, anything is an option. But I asked her if it would um, make a difference. And she told me for my body type and like what I'm looking for, it's not really going to make that big of a difference. And if it does, it's going to be very expensive. You guys, Sculptra is expensive. Like she was telling me that I'm going to need at least five to seven vials per butt cheek. Okay. And one vial is a thousand dollars. So that's minimum 5,000. That's $10,000 for one session. Okay. And you don't really see results until like three sessions in ways. Um, Jennifer literally straight up told me this it's probably not worth it for you. Like you should just eat some more, wait for your grown woman body or save for a BBL. So it's not, it's nothing that I was looking into like seriously. I just wanted to see her take on it because I really trust what she has to say. She's just very experienced. I love these type of videos. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep you guys updated on the healing process. It's super simple. I've been getting my lips done for a long time, so I feel like I'm used to it at this point. But if you guys have any questions about Jennifer, injections, lip injections, anything like that, leave them down below. I am more than happy to answer them for you. I'm literally here for you guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.